Hi guys, welcome back to another interesting month video. Let's quickly take a look at this problem. So I have this nice system of cubic equations from Germany Math Olympiad. This problem is quite crooked and robed, but we shall simplify it to the best of our ability. What we shall do is to name these two equations, this equation one, this two equation two. So we add both equations together. Now, because of the nature of this problem, we shall be very systematic in the addition so that we can generate a pattern. So I'll start with s cubed. So s cubed plus 9s squared y plus sy squared plus y cubed. Then on the right side, I have 10 plus 2, which is 12. In this equation, it's not really of any help in solving this problem, but it is just to give us a head start. If you look carefully at the pattern of expression, you will see that the powers of x are decreasing while the powers of y are increasing. And from the first two terms, you can tell that this should be the binomial expansion of s plus 3y whole cubed. This is where the insight in solving this problem lies. And I will recall a well-known binomial formula, a plus b whole cubed. So you can actually do this by repeated multiplication of a plus b three times, or you use the Pascal triangle, the binomial expansion. In whichever case, we are going to be having a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. Hence, with this formula, we shall be able to expand s plus 3y whole cubed. So we are going to be having our a to be x and our b to be 3y. So therefore, I can then say s plus 3y whole cubed. That will be equal to the first term is a cubed, which is s cubed. The second term is 3a squared b. That will be 3 multiply s squared multiply 3y, which is 9s squared y. The third term is uh, 3ab squared. So 3a, that will be 3 multiply s, which is 3x. Then 3y whole squared, that will be 9y squared. 9y squared multiply 3x, that will be 27sy squared. Then the last term, which is b cubed, that will be 3y cubed. That will give us a 27y cubed. I'll call this equation star. Then again, why this problem is crooked is because of the nature. How do I move forward? How do we move forward? The only option left is that we should look critically at equations one and two. And after brainstorming for a while, I figured that if I multiply equation two by 27, add the answer to equation one, that will be the killer punch for the Eureka moment. And we shall do that. So I will rewrite equation one. Equation one is s cubed plus 9s squared y equal to 10. I will still label equation one. Then equation two, I'm going to multiply every term by 27. So the first term will be s, no. The first term will be 27 multiplied y cubed, which is 27y cubed. Second term will be s y squared multiplied 27, which is 27 s y squared then if i multiply 27 by 2 that will be 54. we then call this equation three i will then add these two equations together this i should take that this way it seems to be very close to the borderline that's going to give me then i will also arrange it systematically so i will write s cubed first plus nine s squared y plus 27 s y squared then 
plus 27 y cubed. On the right side, we have 10 plus uh, 54, which is uh, 64. I will call this equation double star. So as you can see, what we have here in equation star, s cubed, 9 s square y, 27 s y squared, 27 y cubed, is exactly what we have on the left side. So by comparing these two equations, we can then say that uh, s plus 3y whole cubed equal to 64. Now, 64 is a perfect cube. So I can write this as s plus 3y whole cubed equal to 4 cubed. So because they have the same exponent, we can equate the basis, or you can say, let's take the cubes on both sides. I'm going to be having s plus 3y equal to 4. If I make s the subject, so s will be 4 minus 3y. So I will call this equation number 4. Okay, we've done well. The next thing I shall do is to substitute equation 4 into equation 2. And equation 2 is y cubed plus s y squared equal to 2. So we plug in the value of s equals 4 minus 3y. I'm going to be having y cubed plus, so we have y squared 4 minus 3y equal to 2. So if I use y squared to distribute these parentheses, I'll be having y cubed plus 4y squared minus 3y cubed equal to 2. Okay, if I rearrange this, okay, I'm going to be having minus 2y cubed plus 4y squared. I will take 2 this way. That becomes a negative 2 equal to 0. Okay, I can then divide by negative 2. So I'll take this part of the board off. So we're going to be having y cubed. I divide 2 by negative 2. This becomes a negative as well. Minus 2y squared. This becomes a positive plus 1 equal to zero. So this is a depressed cubic uh, equation. So if I find f of one, that will be one cube minus two multiply one square plus one. That will be one minus two plus one, which is two minus two equal to zero. So y equal to one is a root. So the next thing I shall do is to use identity division. I'll draw the S sign here. Then this coefficient are 1 for y cubed, then negative 2 for y squared, 0 for y, because there's no y term, then 1. Then I will stick in 1 here to start uh, the division. Then I will take this one down. So 1 multiply 1 is 1. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. 1 multiply negative 1 again, that would be negative 1. 0 plus negative 1, that would also be negative 1. 1 multiply negative 1, has negative 1. 1 minus negative 1, that is 0. So you can see that we are doing well. So what we are going to have here is going to be a cubic. Okay, we have divided, we are going to be having a, a quadratic. So we are going to be having y squared minus y minus 1 equal to zero. So this cannot be factorized. We can only solve this by using formula. So y will then be minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So this is going to give us something very interesting. OK. So, y will then be, 
coefficient of y is already negative, so we are going to be having negative, negative, which is positive, plus or minus. Here we have b squared, which is minus 1 squared, that's 1, and minus 4ac, that will be plus 4 multiply 1, which is uh, 4, all over 2 times 1, which is 2. So y will be 1 plus or minus square root of 5 all over 2. So y would then be 1 plus root 5 over 2 or 1 minus root 5 all over 2. So guys, we then have our three corresponding values okay, for y. y equal to 1, then y equal to 1 plus root 5 over 2, then y equal to 1 minus root 5 over 2. So we shall find the corresponding values of x. So we recall, we recall that s is equal to 4 minus 3y. So when y equal to 1, s will be 4 minus 3, which is equal to 1. So our first sort of solution in Euclidean geometry, I'll call this one s1, comma y1. That will be 1, comma 1. So that's our first set of uh, solution. So similarly, when y equal to 1 plus root 5 all over 2, we we'll also obtain the corresponding values, or corresponding value of x. So we know that uh, s is a uh, 4 minus 3y. So if we plug in the value of y, which is 1 plus 5 over 2, we're going to be having 4 minus 3 multiply 1 plus uh, root 5 all over 2. So if we take care of uh, the least common denominator here, we're going to be having 8 minus 3 into 1 plus root 5 all over 2. So S is going to be, we use negative 3 to distribute, that will be 8 minus 3 minus 3 root 5 all over 2. So S will then be 8 minus 3 is 5, 5 minus 3 root 5 all over 2. So our second set of solution, S2, comma Y2, that will then be the value of X, 5 minus 3 radical 5, all over 2, comma, then 1 plus radical 5, all over 2. Lastly, when y equal to 1 minus radical 5, all over 2, so we shall also find the corresponding value of x, which is the last uh, solution. Okay, lastly, when y, we're going to be having s equal to 4 minus 3 multiply 1 minus root 5 all over 2. So s will then be, take care of these two again, we have 8 minus 3 into 1 minus radical 5 all over 2. So it's going to give us 8 minus 3, then plus 3 radical 5 all over 2, which is... 5 plus 3 radical 5 all over 2. So in Euclidean geometry format, S3 comma Y3 can then be written as 5 plus 3 radical 5 all over 2 comma then 1 minus uh, radical 5 all over 2 comma. So folks, at the end of this lesson, please, if you love it and you enjoyed it, Make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friend and colleague. And please do well to subscribe so that you can encourage us more. See you next time and stay blessed.